Hi everybody and all you maniacs and welcome back to the next episode of ML Plays FIFA 15. Today we're on match 32 of this season and it's against Cardiff City, a team that come up with us last time when we got promoted. So we are away at Cardiff City today and last game we drew against Sunderland. Hopefully we'll be able to pick up some points from this one. Hartlepool playing in the blue and white, Cardiff City playing in the red. We're playing on four minutes and a half on professional Sports, difficulty. Right? Off we go to Moulton Road. It's Cardiff City against Hartlepool United. Well, it's been a wonderful season for today's visitors. Can they bank another three points today? As you can that see, we goal? are in ninth Let's place at the moment. Top. Cardiff City Not way Cardiff down team. there in Martin 17th. Tyler, if Smith. they can get a win, though, they could jump up several places. It is very tight in this league, to be match. honest with you. If you are in not in the top Martin three, Tyler. I mean, the top three Tyler. Play Tyler. teams Tyler. are Manchester Tyler. City, Tyler. Arsenal Tyler. and Chelsea. Tyler. Chelsea are winning the league at the moment by 10 points as well. Both teams behind are 10 points behind they're both on the same amount of points, both on goal difference, really, that's the uh, the separation. And uh, below that, anywhere below that, it's so tight now within this, this game. We could jump from ninth up to sixth if we manage to get the win here, but it will also depend on all of the rest of the team losing above us. I don't think that will happen, though, because that's the way the Premiership works. Anyway, there's the Cardiff City lineup for this game. The first start in 11. I'm not too certain whether that's a decent team or not. Anyway, here's the Hartlepool lineup. We've got Halstead making his way back into goal for a change. Stolarski, Nerny, Bates, and Flores are the back four. Emma Walker, Woods, and Compton are in the middle. And Hearn and Lee, uh, and Alessandra making his way back into the first eleven after his injury. Let's hope that he's able to get back onto the score sheet today. Before he went away with the injury, he was having a bit of a problem. Problem. Today he's making his way back into the team. The manager's placing a lot onto his shoulders today and hoping that he'll be able to put a few past Cardiff. He did last season, let's hope he does it again today. Anyway, Cardiff have won the toss. They're going to be kicking off today. Hartlepool all getting ready to uh, to start. All the fans are singing in the crowds. Hartlepool are going from right to left this first half and away Cardiff go with the ball to start the game. Plays it out wide to the Cardiff player. Lovely tackle by Walker. No messing from him, getting stuck in straight away. Alessandra gets taken down and the referee blows the whistle. But he's given the free kick to Cardiff. Alessandra getting penalised for the foul there. I don't see how it was considering that Hartlepool were in charge with the ball. Anyway, three minutes gone and it's a free kick to Cardiff. Played long up the field by the Cardiff mid, uh, the Cardiff defender plays it straight perfectly to the feet of the midfielder. Plays it out wide, unable to do anything with the ball. He knocks it through to Hearn though. Hearn who plays the ball through to Alessandra, who's getting a rapturous round of applause from the Hartlepool play, uh, Hartlepool fans as soon as he gets the ball. He's knocked it back towards Compton. Compton with the ball over towards M. Mao, headers it down. No one there though to put the ball in their net. Unfortunately, it was a very unselfish thing for Emmal to do. He could have had a go at goal himself with the header, but chose to be unselfish and play it across the front of goal for one of the other players from Hartlepool to put in a net, but there was nobody there, unfortunately. Anyway, Cardiff come away from it with a free kick again. Alessandra once again penalised. The referee's now told him to calm down, otherwise next time you are going in the box and don't care if you come back from injury, you will get a yellow card. Anyway, Mao now goes in with the tackle, gets the ball back, plays a lovely ball through to Alessandra. Alessandra here. tries to play it back out wide to Mao, but it gets picked off by the, the uh, by the left back defender the who took five. the ball and put it out into uh, the into touch for a throw in. Mao throws the ball in gets tackled straight away by the Cardiff midfielder and now the strikers are going forward 
Will they be able to do anything? That's a beautiful turn. He's on the edge of the penalty area. He's trying to get it through to the rest of his team. Hartlepool players have all come back to defend here. They're all picking up the man, but will they be able to get the guy who's got the ball? They managed to do so. Even Alessandra comes back to help with the defending. He's got the ball and now he's charging forward, trying to get towards the Cardiff City goal. He turns and goes the other way, gets picked off by a defender and uh, Flores who picks up the ball knocks it out Here's towards Walker. Walker and it's Woods now Woods on the edge of the penalty area gets tackled by the left back doesn't manage to be able to keep the ball and now they're pressing forward Cardiff on a quick Very break the ball's gone out for a referee. throw in but uh, the referee has blown for a free kick I don't understand what's going on with this referee I think he's actually from Cardiff because he's given another free kick to Cardiff even though Hartlepool were in charge with the ball God knows what's going on here anyway the ball played long by the Cardiff player up to the uh, Hartlepool defenders who play it back and it's Alessandro with the ball he's got five defenders to take on he's gone past two of them he's gone past the last one takes a little bit of a bobble unable to get the final shot off I think if that hadn't have taken the bobble that it did have on the pitch he would have buried that straight past the goalkeeper and we could have been going on a different way from uh, from it being nil nil but at the moment it's still that score line come on Hartley Paul they're really pressing forward they keep just getting picked off though every time by the Cardiff defence they're just not able to get through that five man back well that five man back that they've got that Cardiff seem to be playing and once again the referee is given a free kick God knows why with a very well executed basical kick that the keeper could only I don't understand why the referee is giving Cardiff all these free kicks it didn't look like there was anything going on there I think I may have to have a look at this game again after playing it and see what the reasons were for these free kicks as always, Jeff does anyway, Cardiff on. got the ball. They lose it though to Michael Woods, who's now going on a run. He's well, gone past the final well, defender. Will he be able be to back. put the ball across to the people who are helping him out? No, he gets tackled by two Cardiff players at the same time. Once you get two on you, Walker. it's pretty much impossible to get the pass out Bates. to wherever you want it to go. Little nutmeg there for Teofio Alessandro Cattari. to try and get onto the end Goal of. King. Wasn't able to do so. Woods yeah, picks up the ball. Gets kick. tackled by Volume the Cardiff three. City Wasn't player. And has words with the other Cardiff and player and says, look, that isn't on. And they're going to make a substitution from the injury. It's Adam Lafondre going off because he's picked up a little slight knock. I didn't see where he got that knock from, but he's complained enough that he's going off. And uh, Maynard is coming on for Cardiff City in this first half. Once again, Cardiff City get the free kick, even though Woods was in control of the ball. I think that that's very biased towards Cardiff, to be honest with you. I think there's a bit of a problem going on here. And... Uh, Alan well, Michael Woods you know, didn't now, commit so a foul, in my opinion. Yeah, it was the Cardiff player who fouled him, if anyone. To judge this game Still, on yeah, there you so. go. That Brad Walker getting stuck in there. He, got, he was lucky not to go in the book there because it looked like he'd give a bit of an elbow to that defender. Anyway, that's a lovely through ball towards Hearn. Hearn is on his own against the keeper. He don't put any power into the final shot. Uh, but at least it's a shot on target and it adds to the total of Hartlepool's shots. Look the at the player, defending that the Cardiff position. are doing. They've got near enough every single man back behind the ball to stop Hartlepool from going through here. Talk about parking the bus. Anyway, that's the end of that first half and it's finished nil-nil in the first half. Cardiff City not allowing anything to go through the back and they're defending really well, but they're not making chances up front. It's a little bit too defensive for my opinion. Hartlepool always trying to block out the attacks in midfield, which they are managing to do, but they're not able to get the shots off against the, the 10 defenders that um, Cardiff City seem to have appeared with we'll today with for this game. For Let's hope that the second half they turn down the, uh, the defensive play and try to go for an all-out win.
Anyway, here we go. Second half is starting and it's Connor Smith coming on for the uh, second half. It's Michael Wood's gone off. He's picked up a knock well, as well. Hopefully he's not going to be out of action for match, too long. We really half. could do without Michael Woods getting injured. Anyway, the ball played back all the way to Halstead. Halstead, he knocks the ball out towards Nerny. Stelarski gets a, uh, a touch of the ball for a change. And I, didn't, I think that's Emma who's gone down on this side as well. Referee doesn't blow for a free yeah, kick for him, didn't though. Anyway, Emma going on the attack once more. He turns with the ball. He's really doing well at the moment in his uh, play for this club at the, uh, at the right wing. He really has been doing well. The manager even commented on the uh, the club news the that we He's get it, on, the, on the game between games be how well Emile has been actually playing that's and that he wants to keep him for a few more seasons at least well, so that's good here. news for Emile I suppose anyway Liam Hearn is now is making way for Stephen to Ross to come to on for this second half table. let's hope that his speed and pace will be able to do something about these Cardiff defenders that um, well all ten of the Cardiff defenders that are sat on the pitch at the moment it's a round of applause as he comes on from the Hartlepool fans they absolutely love this guy anyway M. Mao to take the corner looking for some movement in the box plays it into the edge of the penalty area lovely header of goal just needed to keep it down a little bit that would have been a, uh, a bad start for Walker there if he'd have been able to put that into the net Alessandra frustrated though that he didn't get to have a go at goal either with that corner. So the ball played long up the field by the goalkeeper. Hart Cardiff players now pressing forwards. They've come up to the halfway line. My word, they're being a little bit adventurous. Emmao plays the ball forward for Ross to get onto the end of it. He tries to play the ball across to Alessandra, but so one or two of the Cardiff the players stand in front of the cross and block it from now. going through. Emmao even coming back now to help defend against this Cardiff attack. That's a beautiful crossover, headed towards goal by the Cardiff player, but it just hit his head completely wrong. I think he shut his eyes as he headed it, and it went over the top for a, uh, for a goal kick, I think it was. Anyway, they're going to make a quick substitution. I'm not too sure how to say that other guy's name, so I'm not even going to try. But if you are a Cardiff City fan and you know how to pronounce his name, then there you go. I'll allow you to say it because I know that all of you Welsh people sometimes speak a little bit funny, should I say it, in, uh, in Welsh or whatever. I don't understand it myself, but there you go. I'd love to learn another language like Welsh or something, but I don't think I could. <laughs> anyway, Cardiff City now going on the attack. They've got a corner. It did go off the uh, the Hartlepool defender then, so luckily enough, the, the header may have been at goal. The ball crossed over to the edge of the penalty yes, area. It's cleared away, though, by the Hartlepool Ross. players. All the way up to Ross. Ross now going on a run with it. He gets past the sliding tackle. The Luckily tackle enough, really it didn't catch him there. He cuts inside. He's got players with him. Ross goes in alone and he puts it wide. He should have smashed that home. Unfortunately, he didn't. He even had players alongside him who could have put that into the net, but he decided to go a little bit greedy with it. Alessandra was shouting for the ball the whole time. But no, he decided to go it alone and he put it wide. Unfortunately, it still stays nil-nil here at this Molten Road. Now, Cardiff going on the attack once more. Lovely little through ball there. Gets picked off by the Hartlepool defenders, Ross. though, and it's gone back with Ross. Ross plays a through ball for Alessandra to get onto the end of. It's a little bit too hard, and Alessandra doesn't have the legs to get there. Cardiff City now trying to clear it out. He runs straight into trouble, though, in the form of M. Mao, who blocks that attack straight away and says, you're not coming back into our half, at least for now. M. Mao now coming back to try and help out with the defending. He comes across to get the ball there, loses out, though, to the Cardiff City midfielder. And now Cardiff are going on the attack down this near side wing. Will he be able to get the crossover? He turns, and he does. He gets across into the penalty area, and that's a brilliant... 
brilliant header towards goal. Just wide though. So unlucky by Cardiff. Emmao get, getting a, uh, a touch onto that ball as well. But now he's going to be substituted off for the man of the moment. Jonathan Franks, the way that he played against Aston Villa was absolutely astounding. He was left out of the last game against Sunderland for a bit of a rest because the way he played against Villa was absolutely phenomenal. Will he be able to do the same here against Cardiff City? Emmel going off for a rest for this half though. Anyway, headed up forward by Walker from the goal kick. Ross now gets the ball, forward. cuts inside. He's There's got Alessandro with him, tries to go round one of the defenders, runs straight into trouble and he's tackled by that defensive midfielder. And now Cardiff playing the through ball. Lovely little ball through there. Manages to get taken off him by the Hartlepool defence, trying to play it forward again. Ross going round the defender, the doesn't the manage opposition. to do so, and the two of them pick Good him up. Halstead comes out to collect the ball. the ball. Luckily enough, he gets it, even though he fumbled it, Excellent but that could have been a bit of a problem. I don't know why Halstead has now gone back into goal, considering Barber hasn't made that many mistakes in the last couple of games. Really don't understand why the logic of thinking there is for the... Uh, for the goalkeeping change by the manager of Hartlepool but okay. we'll have to wait and see maybe he'll say something at the, the uh, at the end of the, the club news or whatever but uh, here we go Alessandra gets the ball he's going on the attack taken off him by the final Cardiff player again just as he was about to fire the trigger and have a shot at goal doesn't manage to put the ball in the net and now Cardiff City going on that final bit of the attack don't manage to do anything with the ball. Halstead gets it and throws it out wide to Franks. Franks knocks it forwards to Ross. Ross Phil, tries Phil, to play Cattery. the ball forward well, but gets tackled by the uh, Cardiff City player from behind. And this half has been a little bit more even, a little bit more unbiased by the referee. Not so many uh, free kicks going Cardiff's way in this second half. I think the manager had a word with the referee at half time and he probably did realise that he was uh, giving away a bit of a biased thing. He's but I suppose at half time he took his Cardiff City shirt off from underneath his referee and jumper um, because he was probably too up. Anyway, Cardiff City now going on the attack. We've got four minutes of added time left here to go through right, at the that. end of this game. Could this be another nil nil? Will both teams salvage a point from this game? Both teams really wanting to get a point. And oh my God, what a great goal! Cardiff City have scored! in the 93rd minute of this game and surely that has got to be the winner the fans of Cardiff City have gone absolutely balmy in the stadiums they haven't deserved this win at all they've been defensive the whole time the shot that come in was saved by Halstead the rebound though falls straight down in front of the, uh, the substitute who come on at half time and there it is, the goal that separates them. And it, as I was just about to say, it's Maynard with his first goal in the Barclays Premier League. But I was going to say, they've only got four minutes to hold on for the extra time. There's now five minutes to go. And it's so unlucky. That goal surely has sealed the game for Cardiff City. They've gone completely against play and scored the winner in extra time. What a time to score a goal. Hartlepool are well, absolutely gutted. The players are absolutely the destroyed about that. They felt that so they should have had the yeah, win there. They played their the heart the out money and, and uh, they've done so I much attacking. They just haven't been able to get past this defensive, really well very defensive Cardiff City so side. As you can see the from the highlights, one, every single time the strikers got the ball, the Hartlepool... Um, strikers weren't able to always get the shots off on goal. There was a plenty of saves going on by the keeper, but then the rest of it was pretty much all defensive play from Cardiff City. Once you get to the defenders, they were blocking the ball from going through towards a goal. Here we go. There was a header at goal. The Cardiff City player, though, straight on Brad Walker there to stop him. The shot going wide. Some of the shots that Hartlepool had today could have been a bit better and a bit on target. 
Alessandro, though, making his return to the first 11, doesn't manage to put the ball in the net. Surely that's going to knock his confidence. And then this happened, the strike from outside the penalty area, saved by Halstead. The rebound falls down in front of Maynard, who bangs it past uh, Halstead and finishes the game. M. Mal scores a rating of seven. He played so well today. Just unable to get the win. And it's one of the Cardiff City players who gets the man of the match. English Here's League the Cup scores from final. around the grounds. Read Burnley them out, big man. One, Tottenham Hotspur, nil. The Barclays Premier League. Cardiff City, one. Hartlepool United, nil. Everton, one. Arsenal, one. Sunderland, two. Manchester United, two. So, draws so by Arsenal and Manchester United. To Not going to be very the good for the them. Table, Chelsea still stay Chelsea top of this table. Points. But in now second, Arsenal have table, moved into Arsenal second place with, with that draw there. Third, Hartlepool still in ninth place. Played 27, won eight, drawn 10, lost nine. Goals for 16, goals against 17. We're on a minus one deficit from that one goal from Cardiff. We're on 34 points. Unfortunately, now, though, the points are going to be... Uh, well, the, the teams above us are starting to stretch their lead. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a win next time against West Bromwich Albion at home. It's the fourth time we play West Brom. I hope you'll join us for that. Thank you very much for watching this game. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've been in Mal, and until next time, thank Thanks for watching and points. bye for now. Fifth bottom and falling are Southampton with 27 points. Anyway, a big thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video of FIFA 15. Leave a like if you can and comment if you want to. And please click the big subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. Add me on all the social media sites. The links are in the descriptions. As is the information if you ever want to play a game with me. Also, come and join in the fun at the live streams that I do. Links are on the screen right now. Anyway, I hope to see you all in the next video. Once again, thanks for watching. And until then, bye for now.